Welcome back to the DevOps Library. We're glad you found yourself here. Once again, this is Samantha, and today we're going to learn about salt stack targeting. By now, you've probably set up several salt minions, and you may have even run some commands on them. But what if we want to invoke a command only on a certain group of them? Well, that's what targeting is for. Let's go ahead and SSH into our salt master and try it out. First up, let's get a list of all of our minions. Go ahead and run salt dash run manage dot status. This command gives the status of all of our minions, and while we don't have a ton of them, we do have plenty to explain targeting. First, let's start out by targeting all of our minions using an asterisk. Go ahead and type salt star test dot ping. Great, there we go! But what if we just want to shut down the SQL Server? Let's target the minion by its ID. Go ahead and run salt sql dot devops library dot com system dot shutdown. Great, that's perfect. The SQL Server has been shut down. Pretty easy, right? Okay, next up, let's pretend something terrible has happened. Suddenly, our website isn't responding, and we're hopeful that restarting IIS will fix it. But what if we have a ton of web servers? How on earth are we going to select them all? It's time to use glob targeting. Go ahead and run salt IIS star command dot run IIS reset. Awesome job so far! Globbing is simply just a way of using wildcards to match minion names. So in our example, every minion whose ID starts with the IIS would be targeted by the IIS reset. Alright, now it's time to try out list matching, which is actually just exactly like it sounds. Let's go ahead and run a test ping against one of the IIS servers, as well as the MySQL server. Go ahead and type salt dash l IIS dot DevOps library dot com, comma, MySQL dot DevOps library dot com, test dot ping. Pretty cool, right? Well, it's time to step it up a bit. For those of you that enjoy writing regexes, you can do that too by passing dash e. This time, let's try targeting every minion except SQL since we shut it down earlier. Go ahead and run salt dash e single quote parent question mark exclamation sequel close parent close quote test dot ping Whew, that was a lot okay great don't worry we're actually almost finished we only have a few more targeting methods left let's try targeting by IP first we need a list of our minions IP addresses so that we can use them for targeting. So go ahead and run salt star network dot IP underscore A D D R S. Wow, that was helpful. Now we can use salt dash S to match by IP, or we can actually target an entire subnet. Ours is 172.31.0.0 slash 16. Let's go ahead and try targeting the whole group. Go ahead and run salt dash s 172.31.0.0 slash 16 test dot ping. Great job, you're really getting the hang of it now. But we do have two more methods left. It's now time to talk about salt grains. Grains are just static variables that salt collects about each minion, such as the total memory, serial number, operating system, and only a few other million things. They're actually super helpful for targeting. Imagine we wanted to run ipconfig flush DNS, but only on our Windows servers. To do so, you would just run salt dash G O S colon Windows C M D dot run IP config slash flush DNS. 
There are a ton of grains to use, and a lot more that you could do with them, but we'll wait to go into more depth in another lesson. If you'd like to get a list of the grains available on your minions, just run salt asterisk grains dot items. Well, we've learned quite a few methods for targeting. It's time to put them all together for the final method, compound matchers. As you may have guessed by the word compound, it actually just means combining the previous methods for even more specific targeting. Let's try a compound matcher real quick, then we'll explain how it all works. Go ahead and run salt dash c i i s star o r e at my sequel dot devops library dot com test dot ping don't worry it's actually way simpler than it looks let's pull up the documentation on the salt stack website first off we passed dash c to the salt command letting it know that we're using a compound matcher next we used a glob matcher to select our iis servers glob matches are the default so we didn't need to specify anything in front of it Next, we use the keyword OR followed by E at mysql.devopslibrary.com. If you look at the table, you'll see that E signifies that we're using the minion ID to match. We could also use any of the other methods that we covered in this lesson, which makes compound matchers an incredibly powerful way to target minions. You may have noticed that you can pass in dash I to match pillar data. Don't worry, we're going to talk about pillars soon enough. But for now, you've done a truly fantastic job, and hopefully you do feel a little bit more comfortable with targeting. As always, we're so grateful that you've tuned into our lessons, and if you do enjoy our lessons, please consider supporting us as we'd love to be able to focus on making more videos with a quicker turnaround, or at the very least, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Once again, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.